Hey, Summerhill Cinema 700 here with my Blu-ray Dash DVD update of uh, January 2020. I got uh, a pretty big one today. I got uh, 17 titles in total. So this is definitely one of the larger Blu-ray and DVD updates I've done on this channel. It might be the biggest one. I'd have to go back and, uh, and look at my previous videos. But uh, this might be the biggest one. It definitely has, I think, the best uh movies or not not the, not not the best films but this is the best kind of variety that I've gotten uh, in one of my movie updates definitely in a long time so like I said 17 titles here let's start off with the DVDs <clears throat> got these 3 at Walmart recently we have uh, the original terminator here on DVD believe it or not I don't have this on uh, any format currently and uh Finally have it on DVD. I wanted to get it on Blu-ray, but it's really difficult to find. Even on Amazon, a lot of times lately, they've been sold out of it. So I saw this at Walmart for $5, and I thought, well, I'm going to just settle with the DVD. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the artwork compared to the original, but, uh, you know, for $5, really, that's not that bad. You get the, that artwork on the disc, which is kind of cool, rather than just a plain disc. So that is the Terminator here on DVD. Next, we also have... John Carpenter's The Thing on DVD, same price, $5, super good price. Uh, I wanted, again, to get this on Blu-ray. I know Screen Factory did a great uh, edition of that, but, again, don't have this on any format currently, and when I saw it for $5 on DVD, I thought, that's a steal of a deal, got to pick that up. So that's The Thing. And then last but not least, we have this two-movie collection here with uh, American Graffiti and more American Graffiti. I love American Graffiti. I've never seen uh, more American Graffiti, however. Uh, and this one also, $5 for uh, this double feature. Cannot beat that. Worth it alone just for the one film, but to have this other one, we'll definitely check that out. So that's American Graffiti and more American Graffiti on DVD here. Find some really cool stuff at Walmart uh, in the discount bin. Uh, what ones should we go to first? Let's go with these ones here. On to the Blu-rays now. Rest are Blu-rays, I believe. Uh, first off, we have the classic canon film... Enter the Ninja here on Blu-ray from Kino Lorber. Got this for a uh, very good deal on Amazon. Hopefully there's not too much of a glare there. Franco Nero in Enter the Ninja. Very happy to have that on Blu-ray. And we have the classic Chuck Norris action film. Again, another canon film. Invasion USA here from Shout Factory, a.k.a. Scream Factory. Very happy to have this one also on Blu-ray. Add to my Chuck Norris collection. And then we have two Scream Factory Collector's Editions here. We have Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. I actually watched this film for the first time last year and I absolutely loved it. And I knew that Scream Factory had their own edition that they put out of it, their own collector's edition. But uh, when I saw that uh, it was a really good deal on Amazon, I went for it. So that is The People Under the Stairs on Blu-ray. And again, sorry if there's... Uh, Quite a bit of a glare here, because I have the light right over the room here. And then we have the collector's edition of John Carpenter's Prince of Darkness, also a very, very good film. Well, I wouldn't say very, very good, but it's a very entertaining film. It's I, I do enjoy this film. It's very dark, and it's got a very very good atmosphere, like most Carpenter films, very good soundtrack. Um, he has Carpenter definitely has better films, but Prince of Darkness is a very fun film, very creepy. Uh, very happy to have this on Blu-ray as well. Unfortunately, because these are older releases, I uh, they didn't come with the, the slip cover, but I got them for a really good deal. They're around like $20 Canadian for these. All right. And next up we have from Raro Video. This is my first Raro Video uh, Blu-ray that I've got. We have Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare C City. I've never seen this one, but I've wanted to watch this for a while. And this is actually... A, Tar Quentin Tarantino is a big fan of this film, too. Uh... Looks very fun. This is one of the first movies, if not, I think, believe it's actually the first movie that had running zombies. So, love that artwork too. And uh, under the slipcase, you also get the uh, this artwork as well. This other original artwork, which I really like. Fortunately, the slipcover came a little bit damaged in some of the corners and stuff like that. I'm, I get picky with that stuff because I like to keep my slipcovers in good shape, but. You never know. This is, an, I think, this is a bit of an older release, so it probably got damaged in a warehouse or something. But anyways, that is Umberto Lenzi's Nightmare City on Blu-ray from Raro Video. Then we have the classic Dario Argento uh, presented film. It's actually by Lombardo Bava, Dario Argento, 
uh, producer or, or something. Demons, classic film. This is very good. Uh, 80s Italian horror movie. Only watched bits and parts of this one, never in its entirety, so definitely looking forward to watching uh, this film in its entirety. And this, this one is from Synapse Films here. This is a Blu-ray. Sometimes they do Blu-ray DVD combo packs. This one's just uh, just a Blu-ray. And then from Shout Factory, we have uh, the Italian post-apocalyptic film, Exterminators of the Year 3000. And again, this is another one that I haven't watched, but after watching uh, various clips and stuff from this film, uh, I definitely wanted to check this out. After, after you watch the trailer and you watch this guy driving on this off-road vehicle calling people mother grabbers, you got to watch this film. So that is Exterminators in the year of the Year 3000. Cheesy goodness. All right. Now we got a little parcel here from uh, Ronin Flex. I had never ordered anything from them before because they are based in the United States. And if you do have watched this channel for a while, you will know that I am based in Canada. So to get stuff from the States costs uh, quite a bit sometimes of shipping. But I, they actually sent me this cool little matchbook. Uh, with the logo, and on the back it says now showing City of the Living Dead. They are releasing a Blu-ray release of that soon. It must be like the 20th time they've released that film on Blu-ray, but... Uh, anyways, Ronin Flex, they did a very good job uh, packaging. I wanted to mention, uh, definitely recommend them. Uh, they packaged the Blu-rays very well um, in the box, and then they wrapped each one in like this thick paper. Uh, cardboard kind of wax paper so they won't get damaged so very good job Ronin Flicks for the packaging I uh, really appreciate that and I got uh, five titles here from them so uh, first off we have 2019 after the fall of New York here this has been released by uh, 88 films too in Europe but for the North American I believe this is the first time on Blu-ray that's 2019 after the fall of New York and we have this fantastic slipcase version of uh, Grizzly. This one is loaded with a lot of special features. And these are all um, Code Red Blu-rays, by the way, I forgot to mention. Code Red, aka Scorpion, releasing. And then we have the uh, slipcover edition of Just Before Dawn. Never seen this film either, and this is a this looks like a very, very good slasher film, Backwood Slasher. Again, we get a lot of special features on that one, too. And that slipcase is very cool. I like the colors on that. And you, these ones all, all have the uh, reversible artwork as well. And then we have a Sergio Martino film. It's in a kind of an Italian, almost like a Terminator uh, rip-off type of film. Hands of Steel. Very entertaining, fun film here. Kind of a post-apocalyptic Mad Max Terminator rip-off film. And again, 88 films have released this in Europe, if you're a European film fanatic. If you want to pick this up, 88 Films has a version. But I believe these are uh, all region, region free. That's Hands of Steel. Last but not least from the uh, Ronin Flix uh, package, we have this film here called Blackout, which I didn't know much about. I watched a couple trailers and it looked right up my alley. It's basically about the, the actual blackout that happened in New York City in the uh, late 70s. The city went blackout and... Uh, I don't know if, if if crime rates actually went up. I'm sure they probably did, but this film is basically about blackout New York City and the crime rates go up and a lot of crime starts being committed and they got to stop it. So this looks very entertaining. And this one's actually from 1970-something. Uh, uh, doesn't say. But it, I think this movie came out just a, a year or two after the actual incident had happened. All right, last but not least, on to the last two here. We have the Scream Factory, or sorry, Shout Factory, a.k.a. Scream Factory, collector's edition of Big Trouble in Little China. Really was looking forward to this release, and that artwork is absolutely fantastic. The slipcase. I just got these, uh, these two last ones yesterday in the mail. Lots of great bonus features. Big Trouble in Little China. Happy to finally have that one. And uh, what better way than the screen, the Shout Factory edition. All right, last but not least, probably the best in this whole lot, in my opinion, is the Blue Underground 4K Restoration 3-Disc Limited Edition set. That's a lot of uh, words there. Of House by the Cemetery. Definitely one of my most anticipated releases of the year. After the New York Ripper was released last year, and then the Zombie uh, Blu-ray the previous year, this 4K 3-Disc set. Oh, man. These are just fantastic. Love that artwork. And I'm going to do a review of this soon, so stay tuned for that, just showing it off. Tons of special features, but that is the 4K Restoration 3 Dislimited Edition set of Lucio Falci's House by the Cemetery. 
Anyways, that's my Blu-ray and DVD update of January 2020. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think of these releases. Do you have any yourself? Or do you plan on picking any of them up? And let me know out of these releases which ones you'd like to see me review the most. All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.